So the first one, acute angle between both of them, n1 dot n2. Uh, this is two marks, is it? Three marks. Uh, the, uh, this is the old question. Uh. The marks are not so generous nowadays. Uh. Prices, prices, times are bad. Prices have uh, have been inflated. The marks. So this case is King calculator lah. Nothing much there. 12 minus 6 minus 2. They want acute angle, right? So just mod it. 9 Okay, there you go. Part two, part three is likely the one that you have problem. Part two, can I show you another method which is using calculator? Uh, I've already shown you how to use uh, manual method, right? So the, the method that I showed you just now is uh, using man manually. There's another method which is using GC. Okay, I'll, I need to show you how to use it. Huh? So, um, so manual meaning algebraic. Lah. This one, we did N1 cross N2, right? Okay, maybe I just write down this N1 cross N2, then you just guess and check a point. So um, N1 cross N2, 2 minus 2, 1 cross with 6, 3, 2, which is, uh, oh, you get, let me, let me just, <laughs> I just write this down now, so that 2 minus 2, 1, 6, 3, 2. Okay, uh, my calculator is not a proof in exam. Uh, so that's why I can do cross product here. Just so you know. Uh. Okay, so this is done already. Then um, you just guess and check a point. So you can just let, uh, calculator will let Z be zero. We can let X be zero. Uh. So let X be zero. That will be negative 2Y plus Z equals to one. 3y plus 2 equals a minus. It doesn't matter which one you let it be 0, okay? It really, really doesn't matter. Um, there are many, many answers here. So I, I just have to stress this out. So this will be y equals a minus 2 fifth. z equals 1 fifth. Okay, hence line of intersection. r equals to 0 negative two fifth, one fifth, plus lambda. I'm just gonna take the, the, the negative one, a positive one. Okay, line equation has got many, many solutions. So I will try and change this to a positive one. I don't really like a lot of negative there. Okay, this is algebraic method. Now method two, using GC. How do you use GC? Plane one is 2x minus 2y plus z equals to one. Plane two is negative 6x plus 3y plus 2z equals to minus one. Okay. What you do is you just bring out your GC very simply. I need to show you this uh, because this is likely what your school will learn. You need to know both. Uh, Algebraic, you need to know because you need to know how to solve it, obviously, for obvious reasons, uh, when the question becomes not so obvious. So, you just go to apps, you go to poly simultaneous equation, simultaneous equation solver, which is number two. Equations is two, three is unknown. I repeat, uh, go to apps, go to polynomial simultaneous equation, go to simultaneous equation solver, which is number two. Equations, you have two equations, three unknowns. Okay, solve it. 
put put this as uh, the equation 2 minus 2 1 1 so 2 negative 2 1 1 negative 6 3 oh yeah negative 6 3 2 minus 1 is that okay yeah. then what you do is you just press soft you get your line equation uh, this one here I'll just put it here maybe I just put mm -hmm. so Hmm. What? Uh, students online, if you can't get it, just let me know. So, this is what you get. Okay, now this is where. Oh, I missed one step. So once this is done, uh, this is how we read this. This on the right is a lambda. This on the right is a lambda. This on the right is a lambda. So this case here, this is x, y, z. So this is x equals to minus 1 over 6 plus 7 over 6 lambda. y equals to negative 2 third plus 5 over 3 lambda. Your calculator will always let z be 0 plus lambda 1. Most of the time, you let z be 0 plus lambda. So what you get here is actually, very simply, r equals to negative 1 over 6, negative 2 third, 0, plus lambda 7 over 6, 5 over 3, 1. Okay, basically, 7 over 6, 5 over 3, 1 can be simplified by multiplied by 6. 7, 10, 6. Okay, so hence There are many answers uh, for the position vector. The direction vector should be the same, like that. Like that. Okay. Then we'll look at part three later. <laughs> 